Good morning, fungi allies. Hope you're doing great today. I want to talk a little bit about growing oyster mushrooms. And this is one of the easiest ways to grow oyster mushrooms. It's just using toilet paper, really common household item, as a substrate, and sawdust spawn. So you can also use grain spawn, or you can even use the stem butts of oyster mushrooms to do this. Um, you don't need much, just some, some sawdust spawn of any color uh, oyster mushroom. Pinks grow really fast, so do great on this substrate. Yellows, blues, phoenix, all those will work fantastic. I've never tried it with species other than oyster mushrooms, um, so you could experiment and see how it works, um, but I, I don't know. Um, so I've got my spawn, regular toilet paper, nothing special about it, and some tongs. And then over here on the stove, I boiled some water. You don't have to use boiled water if you don't have it, um, but it's pretty accessible and makes, uh, uh, really helps in terms of getting rid of anything that might be living on the uh, toilet paper. Um, I've also got a plastic bag here to wrap the toilet paper in. So first step, we'll break up this spawn. So we take our soda spawn and just kind of break it up in a little pieces. And my favorite thing about opening a new bag of soda spawn is just smelling it and how good the mycelium smells. Mmm, so sweet. Yeah, it's like nice forest floor, good aroma. Um, so we've got our soda spawn ready to go. And we'll take our plastic bag that this uh, toilet paper is going to live in and put a little bit of spawn at the very bottom. So we'll just put like a little handful at the bottom, see if I can show you this. Um, so it's, it's not a lot, just a little bit that will cover the bottom of the toilet paper. Okay. And then take our toilet paper in the tongs and dip it in the uh, boiling water. So this water was boiling a minute ago, you can see it's pretty steamy. I'm going to just dip this in, making sure the water doesn't overflow. Perfect. And you can watch the toilet paper really sub, um, take the water in and it kind of starts from the outside turning uh, wrinkly and um, is just absorbing moisture. So I'll do that and I'll just flip it over with the whole thing is thoroughly soaked. Okay, and then we can just take this out and let it drain. Just let this drain out. You don't want a lot of excess water um, just sitting where the, where the mushroom substrate is growing. So we want to do a good job letting this fully drain out. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe just another five, 10 seconds. Okay, so that's good. And we'll bring this over and put it right on top of the spawn. So that's right on top of the spawn. So the, so the oyster mushroom I see will grow up from the bottom and then we'll fill up this little tube in the middle, pack the spawn in there and place some more on top. So we're just covering that top with the oyster mushroom spawn, some on the sides. And one of these bags, a five pound bag, can probably do five or 10 rolls of toilet paper. And this is an awesome activity to do with kids or in a classroom or just as a science experiment. So there we go, that's my final, final thing. It's looking good. All that substrate is on there. And then we just bring the bag up and tie it. So a simple bow tie will work great. Um, and you can double tie if you want. And then this bag just sits like this for about um, two weeks, maybe three weeks. Um, and once, there we go. So we'll just let this sit for two weeks. The mycelium will colonize. And then after two weeks, the mushrooms will begin to fruit. So all you have to do is open this bag up, mist it once or twice a day, and the mushrooms will fruit right out of the toilet paper. So this is a really easy way of growing oyster mushrooms, and I hope you'll give it a try. If you need spawn, you can order it from our website, fungially.com. Have a great day.